My name is Dr. Jordan Mallon. I'm a paleontologist here at the Canadian Museum of Nature. And I have with me a really cool specimen. This is the holotype of uh, uh, an armored dinosaur called Panoplosaurus. And so these animals appear on the scene uh, during the Jurassic period, towards the end of it. They're evolving alongside things like Allosaurus and the big long-necked Brachiosaurus and Brontosaurus. And what's cool about my friend Panoplosaurus here um, is that it, it helps to solve a debate regarding whether or not dinosaurs had cheeks. Uh, there's been some thought recently that perhaps dinosaurs didn't have cheeks because their closest living relatives uh, don't have cheeks. That is to say, birds and crocodiles. And as it turns out, if we look at uh, Panoplosaurus here, we can see that it has a very large piece of armor, uh, what we call an osteoderm, where we would expect the cheek to be. And that's significant because uh, osteoderms literally mean uh, bone skin. And so what this is, is a piece of bone floating within soft tissue, within the skin. And that skin would have covered uh, the cheeks. If we actually turn the specimen around, you can see that that same osteoderm is missing on the other side, and you can see through uh, to the teeth beneath. And so this specimen, as I mentioned, is significant because it, it, it solves that debate. It settles the debate as to whether or not dinosaurs had cheeks, and in this case, they did.